Let's create a sprocket today. Um, we will click on the sprocket icon and we will just accept the default values. Now we can go up and we can change the, the chain number. We have ANSI standards and the DIN standards. So let's choose a ANSI 50. And can we draw that to fit on the screen? And set the T to 36. And we'll draw that again. We can change the number of strands to 3. Uh, we can look at it from different perspectives. So, very simply, a chain sprocket. You can go through, you can add <coughs> a hub. I'm changing the chamfer for the hub right now, the diameter, two, and then we'll project that out one inch. And that's on side one. And if we take a look at the top view, it might be a little more obvious what's going on there. Um, we can easily <coughs> swap the hubs, move that to the other side. We can actually copy that second side and then paste it to the first side. So now we have two hubs. And then if we want, we could change the diameter of that first one, change the diameter of the second one, do whatever we want. We have total flexibility. And we can also Let's make the bore a little larger. We can also add a, a keyway. That's an ANSI square keyway. And there we have it. 